Welcome back, everybody. That Brown Bat here again for the next installment of Castlevania. All right, so I guess what we're going to do now is adjust the sound for the opening of the door. So I'm going to remove the the block wall. Remember, it had that that I don't even know. It says machinery. Like if I go. It was under general loud machinery. Yeah, it doesn't fit. So I'm going to remove that link. Then I'm going to get another time delayer. All right. Oops. And what I'm going to do is get another toy. <laughs> it's not a toy. This is not a toy. All right. I'm going to get a repeater. All right. I'm going to set the repeater. Go to properties set it to rate one and then the properties on the time delayer is going to be 11 and it's gonna the reason why it's 11 is because this one was 11 if you remember all right so what I'm going to do is new logic connection toy box path reverse okay so what we're going to do is go to the repeater and say on okay New logic connection, repeat, go to the sound device, go to general. And what we want to find is shuffling. Apparently I forgot what that was or I never knew. I always thought they had to do with somebody shuffling their feet and I'm like, what in the world would I want with that? And that is not what it is. All right, so then we're going to go to this again. New logic connection, toy box path, reversed. We're gonna go to the time delayer, start delay. Then again, for the time delayer, new logic connection, delay completed. Hit the repeater and say off. All right, so now what we're gonna get is this. Oh, the other thing I wanna do is go to the properties on this and say 3D sound at speaker locator on and that means we're gonna have to hide this somewhere close. I don't know if we're gonna do an underground here or not, but if we do, we'll have to move it. And we might wanna crank the volume up a little bit. Let's say 80, it might be too loud. The reason being, cause I, I was thinking it didn't matter, but I was messing around and I hit it and I flew all the way down while the door was opening, I'm like, that's still loud. It doesn't make sense. All right, let's hit it. See, now we fly down here and then you don't hear the sound. That's what I'm getting. Oh no, we're stuck. Okay, so that is good. I'm going to save it here. Okay, so I have given this many, many thoughts. Um, actually, I've, let me show you this. Okay, so we're going to get to this point. I did, I don't know how many episodes. Let's say I did five hours of this. And then I got to thinking, where am I going? Am I just doing hallways and highways and byways? Um, yeah, um... That's going to be really boring. There's supposed to be rooms in the castle. So, as cool as this looks, you know, I was like, yeah, it's going to be, number one, I'm going to get so bored making curtains, I'm going to quit. Uh, so, no, 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 I had to sleep on it. And here's the thing. Let me come out of here and go to here 
Nope, not that one. So this is what I was going to do. So this is my map on Excel using it as graph paper. So no, it wasn't always just uh, hallways, but it was just no rhyme or reason to anything. Um, that's the problem with Castlevania being 2D. You have the main hallway and then you're going up a tower after the first, second level you go up a tower and then you're going back this way. So it kind of looks, uh, see if I can find it. All right, so you have your entrance here and then you have that long hallway. Okay, and this pretty much repeats itself in Symphony of the Night, similar. Then you have this area here that we don't know what it is. Really, it just, there's a basement in it and it's, you can tell it's a different room. And then you come out and it's a similar room to what you started with, as far as wallpaper goes or whatever they decorated, the stone or plaster or whatever. All right, so then you fight the bat, that brown bat, right? And then you go up this tower, then but you go over. Right? But then you go up. And then you go over. Right? <laughs> and then you go up again. Alright? So then you go over. Then it doesn't show you transition to the next door, but the idea is now you're outside. You're on top of the roof. Right? So then you have to climb through these turrets somehow, which is just a platform, which I know it's a, it's a game, right? And then you're climbing and then you, you go across this big, long walkway. And then you go into the tower where you fight mummies, which really doesn't make sense. And then you fall down this whole drum tower all the way down here that happens to have nothing there. The funny thing is, right? The drum tower is right. I mean, if you line that up, it's like that entire tower was supposed to be like Dracula's keep and he just like chopped it off <laughs> then you had to climb the clock tower but you actually don't even climb the clock tower sort of you're it, it doesn't make sense anyway it doesn't make sense it wasn't meant to make sense it was meant to be played anyway I'm trying to make sense of it that's the point I'm trying to make to myself and to you who's listening all right so in Symphony of the Night, you have this. I'm just trying to get you to see my mindset here. So we have two games that match. All right, so we have the entrance way, that room that goes underground and they've expanded on it. Um, oh, uh, Rondo of Blood's similar too. Um, and then you have that room where you would fight the bat in the original game but now instead of having the stage two you have this courtyard where the uh, Grim Reaper takes all your stuff then you go to the tower then you go up and then it gets weird but th that's that's my dilemma it's been my dilemma every time I try a Castlevania game that that's the only part that makes sense is the initial hallway and then where do you go so i was going to do it like this where these would have been walls with crenellations and it didn't it did not fit it did not it did not fit with me so then i come up with this and this is where we're going to go or try to go so in order to get this to make sense to my eyes I needed to reconstruct this part in 3d so I, I had to make a little model in Disney infinity so that's what I'm going to show you now and that's what we're gonna try to base everything on all right and these being the towers right here right 
uh, do you remember the tower video that I did? This is so cool. This is the castle you've always wanted. It goes nowhere. Aren't you excited? Yeah, that video. And I said, I, I told somebody, I said, now I, who is it? Um, somebody in the comments, right? So I said, and now I just have to figure out where to put these towers. What do I do with them? Well, this is what I'm going to do with them. So towers are going to serve as two purposes. They're going to serve as the flying buttress spires. They're also going to serve as the staircases to go up and down uh, to the, uh, between the floors. All right. So, all right. This, and I only did the uh, flying buttresses on the right side because I got the idea or I got the gist of it, I think. So in the bigger version, these are going to be towers, not just columns. But I, I wanted to make it small so I could do it right quick and get myself an idea of what it's going to look like. This is your narrow entrance hall, okay, which we already have done. And then it's going to expound wider and then it's going to keep the same width, but it's going to be a tower where you're going to be able to go up. And how are you going to be able to go up? But you're going to have to come out and go up the steps which are going to be inside here not inside here literally but that's what they represent okay or to the left you know there's going to be this it's going to be symmetrical so then when you get all done down here you come out here now then there's a courtyard then from the courtyard providing the doors are locked or unlocked i mean you can go this way this way or in this one all right and if you think about it, they're all towers. Now this is just a higher building with a roof and then that tower. And it's there's gonna be narrow spiral staircase towers all about, okay? And then somehow I'll figure out where to put that, uh, the clock tower. I'm not, I'm guessing maybe this will be the clock tower. It's gonna be a little bit different than, than the uh, in game. Uh, maybe this will be the clock tower. You know, if you look, Dracula's Keep and the clock tower sometimes switch. You know, sometimes the clock tower is, you know, part of the bridge over here. You know, sometimes there's two clock towers. Um, so we'll we'll figure it out once we get there. But we want to get the main structure of it, and because we're doing it as you can go inside, it's it's going to be very tricky. So I've gone on long enough. This is a short video, so at least we got the sound down and you, you see what I'm going to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. And you don't have to wait till tomorrow. I'll post the next video since this is short. I'll post the next one.